Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be showing you how to create a dot .gif image or an animated image that you can post wherever you want. Website form, it's up to you. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on Mac, so it's pretty simple. Um, go ahead and download this application called GIF Builder Carbon. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Uh, and then this is creating a GIF image from a movie file, so as it says in the title, obviously. Uh, so get a movie, whatever format, except Windows Movie uh, Video, WMV, is not really going to work well. Uh, and I think a few other ones, but most of them are. Uh, I've got a clip here of about four seconds. So don't make it too long. Obviously, the longest the clip, the biggest the file, uh, bigger the file size is going to be at the end. So I've created this clip quite a while back. But uh, go ahead and launch GIF Builder Carbon. Go to File, Open. And go ahead and select your clip. So I've got my clip here. Uh, I recommend having the clip in the same size as you want the final image to be as well. Uh, since that's really going to make it easier for you. And then go ahead and wait till it renders out all the frames. So once it's done basically counting the frames here, uh, just wait until that. And uh, you should be good to start actually creating your GIF. So it's done rendering all the frames for me, so I've got a total of 141 frames and my clip is 4.23 seconds. So I recommend not having more than 250 frames simply because that's going to just uh, make the file size too big to post on the internet itself. Uh, so I've got 141 frames for a four, four second clip, so that's about 33 frames a second, that's quite a lot. So I'm going to reduce that by 50%, so I'm going to basically... Uh, remove all the pair frames, so it can be all the pair or all the unpair, but this is optional, obviously. But I recommend you doing it, simply because the file size is going to be way smaller if you do this. So, uh, yeah, go ahead to do this if you want to, and if not, it's up to you. So if you want to do it, uh, simply go to frame 2, and then hold the command button, and select all the pair ones, so 4, 6, 8, etc. So I got all my frames selected, all my pair of frames here as you can see. And uh, I'm just doing this again to reduce the uh, final file size. And uh, once you got them all selected, simply hit the backspace button to delete them all. And as you can see, I only have 71 frames left now. So uh, that's definitely going to reduce the file size. Uh, so now if you render it out, uh, file save as you get your GIF image. Although it's going to be really bad quality, trust me, uh, it's going to look pretty horrible. And it's going to be really foul, uh, really small file size, obviously, that's what you want, but it's going to be pretty bad in quality. So uh, what you want to do if you want to really have better quality, go to Options and select Frame Expansion. Um, so that's really going to make it way better quality uh, compared to the normal one. And you can also, oh yeah, be sure to have the colors um, to 6 times 6 times 6 palette and not to best. So the 6 square or a thingy, 6 times 6 times 6 palette, go ahead and select that and uh, go ahead and go make your actual image here uh, file, save as and I'll save it as um, tutorial dot gif so it's going to render out all the frames here uh, this shouldn't take really long as you can see it goes pretty fast so there you go, it's done um, so right now I'm going to show you how it looks like on the browser. So I've got two browsers open here just to show you that between every browser there's a difference of speed. So uh, not, I mean not in general, but I mean for GIF images I'm talking right now. I'm not going to go in everything uh, uh, which is related to browsers. But uh, I've got my image here, so I'm going to throw it in Firefox right here. And as you can see, it just does the animation. If I refresh that, you can see, there you go and I'll throw that in Safari so it's got a load a bit in Safari and it's going pretty slow um, so maybe that's the first time so if I refresh it it goes a little bit faster well not really it still goes kinda slow um, so this is just to show you that there's a little bit a uh, little bit of difference between all the browsers Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox and uh, I'm not saying that Firefox is better but uh, that's just my opinion but in this case in for GIF images at least Firefox does a better job in speed. So if you want your image to loop around, so when it comes to an end, it just restarts, 
go ahead and go back to Gift Builder Carbon, go to Options, Loop, and here you have the few options forever or a certain amount of time. So I'm going to just do forever and go ahead and save it again. So there you go, I've got also an image that loops around now. So I'm going to put that in Firefox. And as you see, when it comes to an end, it just starts over again. So let me do that as one Safari. So uh, it works in all browsers. The looping around always works. So that's it for how to make your own GIF image. Right here, my image became, I think, about 2 or 5 megabytes. That's quite a lot, to be honest, uh, to put on a website. Obviously, it's quite a big image. So if you're going to have an avatar, it's probably going to be a little square. It's really going to change the, the file size. But uh, this one is pretty big. Uh, I hope this uh, tutorial helped. If you have any problems uh, with making one or anything, just be sure to comment or you can uh, send me a personal message. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. I'll thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.